Getting a job has two aspects to it, a technical one and a soft skills one. The soft skills you need to get a programming job are crucial to your success. Today, we're gonna talk about how you can build those. Hey guys, I'm Antonio. And if you think you are struggling to find a job as a programmer, you're in the right place because I have been there. Let me tell you how I got the programming job of my dreams by building my soft skills. So back when I was at my first programming job, I started teaching myself soft skills by reading tons of self-improvement books. I was trying to improve things like my communication and my ability to use my brain to its fullest potential. Now from reading, which often gives us this illusion, I thought I knew everything. I felt like I knew exactly what I was talking about, but I never actually implemented a lot of the things I learned. So I didn't really know what I was talking about, but I was just about to get the experience that I needed. I first quit my job. I had this delusion that I was gonna get another job right away as a web developer when I had zero web development experience. Life often has ways about teaching you experiences and I was about to get mine. I started applying to jobs like anyone else did and I instantly was getting rejection email after rejection email after rejection email. I had never faced this much rejection in my entire life. Initially I was fine thinking I would get one of the next ones, you know, get rejected from a few, but then I would get another interview at some point soon. But then it became this consistent thing. So consistent that I was constantly rejected for 14 months. So even some of the toughest people will start to take that to heart. At first, I felt hurt and felt like nobody actually wanted me, which to me was weird because at my first job, they were asking me to stay when I decided to quit. So here I was, I thought I was good, but now I can barely get a programming interview. So at the time I reread Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I realized after reading that I was not fully focused on my goal. So I started to visualize my goal at its deepest purpose. I started to visualize my goal with the deepest details possible. Every morning and night I said my definite goal and I took action when I woke up to go do it. So I was working towards my goal. I started to make some daily progress in my technical abilities and my interview abilities. Now this helped me get a little bit farther in my interview process, but there was a mindset shift that helped me get the job more than anything else. And it was the fact that every time I got shut down, there was something that could be a hint as to what I could do next to keep going forward. Each failure would normally hurt me, but then they started to weirdly energize me because I started to analyze them and pay attention to areas where I might've messed up. Learning from my failures was my first lesson. The second lesson was that I needed to be consistent, consistently showing up to my command line and text editor every single day consistently pushing my commits to GitHub, consistently programming and keep making progress. I was not gonna become a web developer overnight. I had to do things to make my abilities better in order to be able to get hired at the job that I wanted. And I did exactly that. Those two soft skills eventually got me the job at NBC Universal. It was the job that I really wanted at the time in the location I wanted, doing what I wanted, and in an environment that I wanted, getting paid what I wanted. Most of you will struggle with rejection and fail to take action every single day. Those are two soft skills that you must learn in order to be unstoppable. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.